It's official. Construction on a new high-speed rail from Southern California to Las Vegas has begun. This is a historic day. Transportation officials will be breaking ground on the new Brightline West project. About 11,000 workers, including 3,000 from Southern Nevada, will help build the project. If you ask me what do I do in the morning, one of the things I do is go look at all my children. That's the reason I get up every day, every morning, is to step out here and make sure that their future is great. You gonna put some salt on there, son? <laughs> Pre-COVID, my wife was working at the airport, got laid off, and that's when I knew I had to step up and do something better, and that's when the union came into my life. It was a blessing joining the union. With us having the first high-speed rail train, it's monumental as far as a uh, commute from Las Vegas, Nevada to California. That's a four hour plus commute. They're topping it down in half. It's landing us jobs. Brightline project is gonna be a big thing, not only for the community, but for uh, many of us guys out here, laborers, uh, be operators out there. It's gonna be a lot of, it's gonna open up a lot of jobs for a lot of people. And um, it's gonna be a monumental thing that I think people will come from everywhere, basically, to ride that train. It's gonna be so amazing. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg making the announcement in Las Vegas. On behalf of the Biden administration, it is my great honor to help break ground on what will be the first high-speed rail in American history. 218 miles of new track between a terminal on the Las Vegas Strip and Rancho Cucamonga. This is actually investing in America. This doesn't happen without the current administration. It's being touted as one of the greenest forms of transportation in the country with a zero emission system. This groundbreaking is truly historic. We're the only industrialized country in the world that doesn't have a high speed rail. Four years from now, we won't be saying that anymore. It's been a group effort across party lines between federal, state, local governments because we know how important and how critical this project is for our jobs, for our economic development. This groundbreaking ceremony is the proof in the pudding that this is actually going to happen and that they are investing in American, for American jobs. The infrastructure bill is putting families to work. It's helping us all out. And if we can do it here, we can do it anywhere. And to drive around and be able to point out to my kids, just say, hey, daddy was on that project, daddy was on this project. It's a beautiful thing.